Now, lobster rolls are a famous dish on the east coast of Canada and the northeasterly United States of America. Let's blend this higher. Yeah, yeah, we need a real emulsion going. You know, when you're working with butter, prepare yourself to feel supple and smooth as you get a little bit of a lobster explosion with a lot of butter sauce involved in the mix. Hold, hold the phone. It's like I made butter again. You know what, it doesn't matter. Butter is butter is butter. We're just gonna add this to the pan because we want this to stay warm. Today, the emulsion was not successful, but that's okay. I was trying to do like a little Eva B flair. That's, that's okay, we'll continue, shall we? Now, lobster rolls are feel like our religion on the East Coast. People have their own ways of eating lobster rolls, but really it comes down to three things. You got tons and tons of butter. I'm gonna just add more because we want this dripping in butter. Lobster, of course, fresh lobster. Did you know that lobster actually used to be known as a peasant food? I had this coworker that said the same story over and over again, but it's okay. It's an interesting one because lobster actually used to be made fun of, like if you brought it in, like as a lunch. So yeah, my coworker would say, my father would go into work with his lobster sandwich only to be made fun of when everyone else was having peanut butter sandwiches. Can you imagine the gall? People had no idea what they were doing. All right, but my Eva B. Flair to this lobster roll is gonna be a little bit of a Dijonese. So simple ingredients, again, some moutarde, some mayonnaise, and a little extra ground mustard for a tiny little kick. I have a fond memory of lobster rolls. Whenever I think of them, I think of my son's first birthday. I went to Halifax to follow my husband. He was going there for work and my husband would not want to miss my son's first birthday and I don't blame him. It's a special milestone that I also wanted to share with him as a family. And I put like a special message on my reservation. So my husband was working, but I went out with my son to get some lobster rolls. So on this reservation, I said, it's my son's first birthday. I also said, you know what? Like, I think he'd really like a nice little bowl of berries. So they got me a nice little bowl of berries and they didn't put a candle in it. I just wanted like a little special touch. Is that so much to ask Canada? I only generalize Canadians because when I was traveling for three months, with my son through Europe, through Italy and Serbia. Everyone was so kind. I know that Serbs get this rap, like any Slavic language, it's so intense when you hear the language, but really people are actually saying something super polite. So I would be waiting in line with my son and they'd be like, they'd be like, go to the front of the line. What are you doing? And me and my like dumb, like polite Canadian-ness would be like, it's okay. Meanwhile, baby's crying and everything. But it just goes to show it's like a totally different culture over there. Now, I'm not saying I need to be waiting on hand and foot, but I just, it's just different. You know, at the airport, it's different. At the grocery store, it's different. Anyway, I digress. Let's build our lobster roll. We have all the components here. I'm so excited. So yes, the bun, the top split bun is the most important thing. I would butter this, but it's okay. We'll just throw in this butter poached lobster. Tons of lobster, some bib lettuce. Tuck it in there, a little bit of Dijonese. Some people put celery in it. I'm just gonna garnish with a little bit of chive and look how gorgeous that looks. Let's take a bite, a little nod to the East Coast. Mm. You need a soft, pillowy, top split hot dog bun for this. You really want the lobster to shine, as well as the butter. All right, stay tuned for our next butter recipe, something a little sweet. 